The fish that's eating the world. Needle-like spines that hold poisonous venom. Long fins that trap fish and other prey. A stomach that expands like a balloon up to 30 times its normal size. Beautiful stripes that help lionfish blend into coral reefs. Vocabulary. Insatiable. Always wanting more, impossible to satisfy. Native. Living or growing naturally in a particular place. Invaded. Entered a place in a harmful way, often in large numbers. Coral, a hard material formed on the bottom of the sea by the skeletons of small creatures. Humanely, in a way that is kind or gentle to people or animals. Lionfish are taking over the Atlantic Ocean. Can these dangerous creatures be stopped before it's too late? by Mackenzie Caro. You move slowly with the confidence of a king. You destroy an animal that crosses your path. Your hunger is insatiable. You eat and eat and eat. And you prefer to sneak up on your dinner until 8 a.m. You swallow it whole. So what are you? A shark? A grizzly bear? A monster from a fairy tale? No, you are a lionfish, about the size of a football. And right now, you are causing a disaster in our seas. Beautiful creatures. Lionfish are native to the warm waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. But over the past 30 years, they have invaded the Atlantic Ocean. Some lionfish now swim off the U.S. coast from North Carolina to Florida. Others make their home in the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico. No one knows exactly how lionfish got to the Atlantic Ocean, but most experts say that humans are likely to blame. In the 1980s, American pet stores began selling baby lionfish. These beautiful creatures with their bold stripes and leaf-like fins quickly became a popular choice for home aquariums. But lionfish are not suited for life in a fish tank. Why? They tend to eat the other fish. Plus, they can grow to be up to 18 inches long in just a few years. That's why scientists think that people began dumping their pets into the ocean once the fish outgrew their tanks. These pet owners probably figured it was fine to release lionfish into the Atlantic. The ocean is the ocean, right? Wrong. Total disaster. Lionfish are what is known as an invasive species. That is an animal or plant from one area that invades a new area and causes damage. Lionfish have invaded parts of the Atlantic Ocean and they are upsetting the natural balance of the environment there. How? For one thing, Lionfish eat a huge amount of fish and shellfish, one to two fish per minute, and they don't stop when they are full. Their stomachs balloon out to make room for more. Sometimes they even eat until they make themselves sick. These eating habits don't leave behind much food for other fish. As a result, Many fish in areas with a lot of lionfish could die out. 
coral reefs. Another problem is that lionfish harm coral reefs. Coral reefs are long lines of coral that often lie in warm, shallow water. They provide food and shelter for millions of types of fish and plants. They even protect coastlines during storms. Lionfish prefer to live near coral reefs and they are ruining an important balance. Lionfish eat the fish that usually eat sea plants called algae. As a result, there is now too much algae on coral reefs. These algae can damage the reefs and even kill them. The problem shows no sign of stopping. That's partly because lionfish breed so quickly, a female can release as many as 30,000 eggs every few days. So the number of lionfish in the Atlantic just keeps growing and growing. Lionfish locations. The purple areas on the small map show where lionfish have always lived in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. The purple areas on the large map show where they can be found in the Atlantic today. Not the first time. Lionfish are not the first invasive species to cause problems. About 4,300 invasive species live in the United States. Fish called Asian carp have spread up the Mississippi River. Millions of wild hogs run across Texas. The Burmese python has taken over a national park in Florida. The damage these invaders cause can be dangerous. For example, mongooses were brought to Hawaii in the 1880s to kill rats on farms. But the mongooses ate more than just rats. They also feasted on birds and turtles. Now many of those species in Hawaii are in danger of dying out. Scientists fear that unless something is done, and soon, lionfish will have a similar effect in the Atlantic. What can be done? The good news is that many experts across the United States are working to solve the lionfish problem. And they say there are ways to keep these invasive creatures under control. First, we can make sure that no non-native pet like lionfish are released into the wild. Second, we can report any lionfish sightings. The Reef Environmental Education Foundation, REEF, has trained scuba divers to hunt lionfish. Anyone who spots a lionfish can tell REEF. Within 24 hours, divers will find the fish and humanely kill it. And third, there's the most delicious solution. We can eat them. In 2010, Reef released a cookbook to help educate fishermen and cooks on how to prepare lionfish. Since then, many people have spread the word that lionfish can be a tasty food source. They're even for sale in some grocery stores. As for you, lionfish, we know it's not your fault that you ended up here. You're just a hungry fish looking for a meal or several. Why do we need coral reefs? Coral reefs are long lines of coral. Scientists say that up to 25% of all ocean life 
depends on coral reefs for food and shelter. But because of lionfish, many reefs in the Atlantic are being destroyed by sea plants called algae, shown in the small photo above.